With that note, uh, I would like to hear from uh, Anita from Parks for Health. Another comment from community-based organization working on language access issue. Good morning. My name is Anita Homhale. I'm a program director of Pals for Health. We are a full spectrum language service provider for LEP patients. And oftentimes, we are the last resort for patients who are not able to communicate in English language and who have been denied of their rights to free interpretation services. And I understand a lot of time when we come out to talk to um, elected officials or to um, hospital administrators, we often hear, you know, oh, I didn't know that this is a problem. I didn't know the extent of the problem. So in that in that effort, we have collected stories from actual patients who have been denied of um, their right to language assistance. And I would like to highlight one story in particular, and I have left this um, on, on your um, table for you. The story is from Ms. Edna Gutierrez. She was diagnosed with breast cancer. When she went in for the biopsy, she had asked for uh, a Spanish interpreter and a Spanish interpreter was not provided for her. When the doctors were prepping to do the biopsy, they were prepping the wrong breast. Using hand gesture, she was trying to communicate to the doctors that they were operating on the wrong breast, but they ignored her. So the biopsy results came back as negative, and she was sent home. After that, she received notices, follow-up notices in English, which she could not understand. And even if she could understand, she wasn't going to go back to the same hospital knowing that she got inadequate care in the first place. Four years later, when she couldn't stand the pain anymore, she had to go back to the hospital. At that time, she was she had to use her 15-year-old daughter as an interpreter. When the daughter learned that her breast cancer had advanced to stage 4 and she was to have her breast removed, the daughter was not able to communicate that to her because of the emotional impact. The daughter ended up having to miss school, and she would cry all the time, and she kept on trying to convince her mother that everything was okay. On the day that Ms. Gutierrez had to come in for consultation for the surgery, she was once again denied her right to um, language assistance. She had to call her brother, who was on the road working as a truck driver, to interpret for her. When her brother learned that the chance of survival of the surgery was 30%, her brother was traumatized by the effects. He ended up having to lose work to recover himself from, from having to deliver the bad news to um, her sister. In Ms. Gutierrez's own word, she said, it is very sad when you're unable to communicate due to language constraints. Many mistakes occur, maybe even the loss of lives. And by chance, she was able to find a, a staff member of Pals for Health, and she was able to access our services. And even yesterday, I was at UCLA speaking on language access, and a staff member from Chinese Progressive Action came up to me and said, we have so much problem with LACUSC. We try to address the issue in terms of providing interpretation services for Chinese immigrants, especially low-wage earners, and we've gotten nowhere. What can we do about that? So we are working together, and, and I've been very um, comforted by Mia's presence and, and willingness to work with us to address that issue as well. And I'm also very um, – I would like to commend – um, Dr. Shunoff's office on the improvement made at Rancho. We understand the effectiveness of VMI. The technology works, but the cost of the county at this point is quite prohibitive. And we are hoping to be able to work with the county in coming up with using the same technology but at a more cost-effective um, way to address the language needs. And finally, we were greatly touched by um, Supervisor Don Cannabis' office in contacting us last summer in trying to work out a program where we could actually develop using the resources of the community to train community members to become healthcare interpreters so that, A, um, in this recession, in this climate of unemployment, they would have a, a gainful way of earning a living while providing a much needed services to the county, acting as trained healthcare interpreters, also um, to supplement the, the language uh, assistance that's currently being uh, offered by LA County Hospital. And I would like to mention also the Korean interpreter at Rancho Teresa used to be um, a PALS language consultant as well. So we understand, we could proudly say the effectiveness of our um, training program. Um, the question that I have, since I have everyone here, is how committed are you to addressing this issue? And if you are committed, are you willing to send representatives who have power to actually make the changes that need to meet with us, the consumers, the community-based organizations on a quarterly basis? Because this is a great 
problem that everyone here has experienced in, in great extent. And it, it's disheartening for us to have the power that be to say, we don't know this is a problem. We want you to know that this is a problem, and we want you to know that we are here not to blame, but to work with you to address the issue. So that's my question. Thank you very much. Uh. Um, anybody from panelists would like to answer her suggestion? Well, just let me say we're willing to meet with and work with any anyone. Certainly part of the reason for being here today is to hear and listen well, uh, how things are and how, how, you know, how far we have to go yet. And I think DPSS is certainly willing to come to the table to try to resolve the issues just, uh, just like uh, Dr. Chernoff said. Definitely, this is the first you know step of that, and not only to include our social services programs, but also the rest of array of county programs, um, as you know. So one is the social services, but we do provide a whole array of municipal services to the county, and also there are language access issues, not only in this population, but across the board. How do you say absolutely in Korean? Taeyeon. Um, thank you so much for everyone committing to the meeting that we might be calling you soon. So uh, get everyone ready to send someone from your office. And we'll get ready as community-based organization and community members. Um, so now thank you all for your great comments and questions. And we hope to continue this great work among us and collaborate to make these things uh, change and get better in our community.